Operations management involves managing the daily production of goods and services. Let's take a look. In general, operations management uses a quantitative or mathematical approach to find ways to increase productivity, improve quality, and manage or reduce costly inventories. The most commonly used operations management tools are methods of quality control, forecasting techniques, capacity planning, productivity measurement and improvement, linear programming, scheduling systems, inventory systems, work measurement techniques, and cost-benefit analysis. In 1791, when the U.S. government, worried about a possible war with France, ordered 40,000 muskets from private gun contractors, all but one contractor built handmade muskets assembled by skilled gun finishers who made sure that all the parts fit together. Thus, each musket was unique. If a part broke, a replacement part had to be handcrafted. But one contractor, Eli Whitney, who is better known for his invention of the cotton gin, determined that if gun parts were made accurately enough, guns could be made with standardized, interchangeable parts. So he designed machine tools that allowed unskilled workers to make each gun part the same as the next. Today, because of Whitney's ideas, most products from cars to toasters to space shuttles are manufactured using standardized, interchangeable parts. But even with this advance, manufacturers still could not produce a part unless they had examined it firsthand. This all changed, however, with the prototype. For the first time, precise drawings permitted manufacturers to make standardized, interchangeable parts without first examining a prototype. Once standardized, interchangeable parts became the norm, and after parts could be made from the design drawings alone, manufacturers ran into a costly problem that they'd never faced before, too much inventory. Inventory is the amount and number of raw materials, parts, and finished products that a company has in its possession. In fact, large factories were accumulating parts inventories sufficient for two or three months, more than they needed on a daily basis to run their manufacturing operations. A solution to this problem was found in 1905 when the Oldsmobile Motor Works in Detroit burned down. Management rented a new production facility to get production up and running as quickly as possible after the fire. Because the new facility was much smaller, there was no room to store large stockpiles of inventory. Therefore, the company made do with what it called hand-to-mouth inventories, in which each production station only had enough parts on hand to do a short production run. Because all of its parts suppliers were close by, Oldsmobile could place orders in the morning and receive them in the afternoon, even without telephones, just as with today's computerized, just-in-time inventory systems. So contrary to common belief, just-in-time inventory systems were not invented by Japanese manufacturers. Instead, they were invented out of necessity more than a century ago because of a fire.